Good evening. Gloucester Cathedral is defending its decision to allow Muslim prayer to be read after it attracted criticism online. A video was shared on the cathedral's Facebook page as part of an exhibition celebrating the city's different faiths. But it was taken down because of the comments some people made. Andrew Plant reports. <laughs> Filmed on a mobile phone, a traditional Muslim prayer read by a local imam in Gloucester Cathedral, which was then posted online. The video attracted some criticism, much of it offensive, and the cathedral removed the entire post from its Facebook page. The prayer wasn't part of a service, but was read as part of the cathedral's exhibition launch, which also included drumming, Hindu dancing and a pagan rock band. St Mary's Cathedral in Glasgow found itself the target of criticism in similar circumstances last week after a local Muslim student read passages from the Quran that took place during a Christian service. Imam Hassan, who read the prayer at Gloucester Cathedral, released a statement this morning. He said, I take great inspiration from the work done by the very Reverend Stephen Lake at the Gloucester Cathedral. I aim to follow him by adopting those same values at the mosque, values of peace and tolerance. There was nothing wrong with the fact of what took place here. This was part of a, an educational day, learning about people of different faiths. And, and so in that sense, no problem whatsoever. But uh, because of the comments that came, we have to take responsibility for our own website and our own Facebook page and they became unacceptable and that was a way of stopping that conversation so that the real conversation can take place. Gloucester Cathedral representatives say this incident was fundamentally different from the one in Glasgow. The exhibition intended, they say, to start conversations about faith, although they admit the online video lacked any context and say they'll learn lessons for next time. Andrew Plant, BBC Points West, Gloucester. Well, tonight, a digital marketing expert who specialises in how the internet affects faith organisations has said Gloucester Cathedral shouldn't have taken the post down. Dr Bex Lewis says negative comments need to be better managed. Churches need to be thinking that actually quite often the digital is the front door to their organisation and think about what does that look like, what does that work like for people who don't know anything about the faith, people who know a lot about the faith. And I think we've got to accept that there are different denominations and we're going to have different, we're going to have theological disagreements. How can we do that in a way that we show that this can be done in a positive way, which I think is the whole point of the interfaith event, is we disagree on a lot of very fundamental levels, but we can talk about this and we can try and understand where other people are coming from.